Owen Palmer counts himself very fortunate to be this fit. A huge heart attack five years ago left him so weak he couldn't even have walked the length of this gym. But then, as part of a medical trial, Owen's heart was injected with stem cells harvested from his hip bone. I'm about 60 to 70 percent and I feel fabulous. I've got my energy back. Um, I feel I can do things now, so um, what do I want to do? Rather than, you're not allowed to do anything, I can't walk 100 yards. Owen believes his remarkable fight back to health is down to his participation in the stem cell trial. Here's the theory behind it. Stem cells are the body's natural repair kit. They're found in many tissues, but are easiest to extract from bone marrow. The researchers hope by injecting bone stem cells into heart tissue that was starved of oxygen during a heart attack, the stem cells will kick-start the damaged muscle into repairing itself. It could certainly revolutionise the treatments of heart attacks. We could certainly decrease the amount of medications that people need to take, maybe even get rid of the medications one day. But it is important to emphasise that this research is still at a very early stage. It's just that we've seen some very exciting and promising results. But there's a problem. Because a patient's own cells are used, there's no drug to patent, no profit to be made from using the technique to enhance the standard treatment of heart attacks. So the £10 million needed to complete the research will have to be found through fundraising. What I found quite shocking was that um, th th it's unlikely that they will get much support from people that can't get a return on it. We've got to sort of help ourselves because the commercial side isn't that interested uh, because there's no new drug. It's just me fixing me. Owen feels he owes his new lease of life to heart stem cell therapy and the initial trial results are extremely encouraging. But there is still a hard fought battle ahead for researchers to prove the treatment's true potential. Catherine Jones, Five News.